What's going on everyone? It's Elias and welcome to Solo Queues Day Episode 3. The whole point of this series is we play five games in solo queue ranked play and I basically give you tips and tricks along the, along the way to help you win a majority of your solo queue games. Ideally, we're looking to win three out of five games in this solo queue match. Last week we won one out of four and uh, today, let's get right into it. We are playing on SND Elisilo. A little late, but let me grab bomb. And my goal right away is to basically expect these enemies to push up and try to play for a few kills. Uh, a few kills. Oh, there's a sniper right there. Sounds good. So with that sniper, we may have someone going for a full flank. Okay, one guy top. One guy's pushing up right. We're just missing a third player right now. So I know where two are. There's one there top. One playing A, or outer A, and then we're missing one. Kind of got to start looking for, uh, maybe he's in there. Good pick. This guy might made a pl make, make a play. Damn. And it's a crimson lobby, so that guy's gonna hit that shot, but I gotta go for it. I was hoping I can probably win this gunfight. He misses his shot, and then I can play for the bomb plant. But, uh, good for him. What's up, Ethan? Thank you so much for stopping by. I genuinely hope I slay. Last week was good. We won four out of five games. Hopefully today we can uh, win three out of five, if not more. Um, Jason, thank you for stopping by. I'm near the end of my shift, but I'll watch what I can. Thank you so much for stopping by. Really excited. Today's episode three. My goal for this episode is to show you guys that playing against Crimsons, if you just focus on where they are and you just focus on countering them, you can outplay them. So just right now, this is one of my favorite strats to do on defense where I get to push up more than halfway. And by sitting in this corner, usually these enemies don't check it. Alright, and of course we're on defense, so when you're in these higher level lobbies, you kind of got to play a little boring. Wow, he knew I was there. That's unfortunate. Huh, he didn't even know I was there. He just got good timing. Alright. But uh, of course, as always, <laughs> it's uh, it's typical that we always start out with an S and D. Um, super annoying because uh, obviously you're limited to the mistakes you can make. Uh, but you just got to take it one round at a time. <sighs> How's everyone in chat been today? Or, how was your weekend? Uh, we had a three-day weekend. Ethan, was that good? Jason, do you guys... Is Labor Day just a uh, American holiday? I don't know why, but I'm just starting out today nervous for some reason. Kind of weird. All right, last time they had a sniper pushing up on our left. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to pull out an AR, and hopefully I can get good timing and kill him on the left. So I don't see anyone pushing up right there. Okay, one guy's right there. No way. I, I got to shoot. That guy's cracked. All right, this guy has a fast reaction. Damn, okay. Seven ping latency, and I'm on a 17. I really don't got an excuse. I got to just shoot that guy when I see him. Go for the kill. Right now, I just got to shake out the nerves. I'm nervous for some reason. I'm a little bit rusty. Weekend was so busy, I was working a lot of gigs for the Norco Rodeo. Wow, okay. And then I went to see some family on Labor Day. That's good. Okay, I'm glad that you at least saw some family, got some good food, and got to relax. But working at the rate rodeo, that was that's interesting. What were you doing? Was it uh, K 
character work? Were you help, uh, like lifting stuff around? What were you doing? That sounds interesting. Yes, I think it's an American thing, but we recently had our bank holidays. I worked all weekend, but it's cool as the sun is finally back. Bank holidays. Okay. Okay. Cool. Worked all weekend. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. That's so interesting. I always loved seeing how different the world works. Because I remember, didn't you have, like, a different work time as well? Alright, last time, this guy with an AR pushed up on the right lane. So, I am going to stun open the bottom, look for a kill bottom, and then I'm going to fight for the guy in the right lane. Bummer. Kind of whiffed a two-piece. No! Why did I climb up the ladder? I didn't even see that guy, unfortunately. Wow. Final minute. I'd love to go to a ro rodeo. I gotta visit the States again. Yeah, isn't it crazy how, like, the States just has several different things going on? Oh, brother, I'm dropping a donut right now. Alright, I'm, I'm just choking so many gunfights right now, and I did not warm up today. If there's one useful tip I can give, it's warm up. <laughs> I had a busy morning because uh, I'm actually starting not a new project. It's more so just helping a person start a new project. Um, but it's basically a podcast um, that we're looking forward to starting next week. Uh, it's a work in progress. We're not sure how it's going to turn out, but we're really excited for that. But still, I guess there's no excuse. You should always warm up, right? Because I basically whiffed uh, those two kills bottom pool. Um, I just got to hit those shots and kill them. It's a character gig for the kids, but I hung out after they had a hypnosis on one of the main stages afterwards too. Dude, that's so sick. I always wonder if those are like... Like... Is the person planted for the hypnosis, right? Like the whole thing they're doing, or is it not? Dude, how am I getting fried right now? Okay. Wow, I swear I was pre-firing. I feel like a bot right now, and I'm on 17 ping. I don't believe it. All right, I'm 0-5. Let me focus up on the game right now. We're going to try to ch uh, shift this over a little bit uh, because so far I've been able to know what these enemies are doing so I can set up a way to counter them. It's just I'm not executing right now. And that's a big issue is not executing. So I just got to focus more to execute real quick. The point, the point of this live stream is to mostly try to win and focus up. So, <sighs> All right, let's do this. I hope they double down and challenge the bottom pool, and this time I'm not going to choke my gunfights. Okay, they're probably pushing up on the right. Yep. Nothing up there. Someone else pushing up? Okay. He might try to wrap around and try to... I could play bottom right here. Need to help my teammate. Dude, okay. What? So he messes up his nade, and his nade kills me around the wall, and he just hits beautiful shots on me. Dude, I can't believe it, but at least we win the round. At least I got a kill. That's what matters most. I feel like I should have got that two-piece right there, but it is what it is. Guy on a horse drinking a beer nearby. It was very funny. And the hypnosis had like 10 people on stage, so I hope it was legit. Dude, I hope, I mean, that sounds legit. Picking up 10 people, that sounds like a whole 10 of actors you gotta pay for just for some gig like that. So I think it's real. That's pretty sick. That's really cool. 
Jason, do you guys uh, have uh, like hypnosis and uh, guy uh, guys on horses drinking beer? <laughs> Where you're from? Let me challenge this with my teammate. Dude, let's go. <laughs> What's up, Zen? Just like every week, the game forces us to start playing SND, and I just make some probably of the worst plays ever. Uh, such as right there, I was like, oh, let me challenge out a window with my teammate. And I knew he was going to stand in the window, and I didn't want to get two-pieced. So I was like, okay, let me rush across, and that's going to mess up that guy's aim assist. And uh, boy, was I wrong. <laughs> Just get a whole reset off right here. How's your day going so far, though, Zen? One minute left. All right, this is going to be a risky play. I'm going to see if someone's their top money. Yeah, nothing. There we go. Get another reset off because someone might push up the right lane now. Dude, ay ay ay. Can't catch a break against these guys. These guys just got the best pre-aims. Like right there, I should have honestly busted open the door and just like fought those guys head on, but I, uh, I, I just didn't play it too confident. As you can see, I'm two and eight. All right, at least uh, the rest of the world has some similarities. <laughs> All right. Dude, of course. Dude, look at that timing. Aye, aye, aye. Final minute. I haven't played in a long time, but I remember having a habit of reloading after every encounter. What factors do you consider for when it's time for you to reload? So usually, if you know you can reload, reload. Um, another reason to see if you should reload is if you have two to three kills in the kill feed. So like on the kill feed on the left, when you get two to three kills, that's a good time to reload because the enemies are dead. And then honestly, in these games, it literally takes like three to four bullets to kill the enemies where it's down to the point of, honestly, you just need to reload. <laughs> um, or I mean, you don't need to reload. Sorry, that's the whole point is you kill so fast that you don't need to reload at all. Like it takes three bullets, three bullets, I mean, come on. Uh, but let's see if I can get more than uh, two kills right here. I'm going to play it a little bit more aggressive. I haven't done this play in a minute. It's 
like he knew. Nice. Oh, jeez. Solid work. All right. Let me go ahead and block that scoreboard cuz dude, that was freaking dumb. I hated that game. <laughs> oh my gosh. Starting off with SND um no warm up. I would say good luck. <laughs> oh dude, I went 2 and 9. That is terrible. Um yeah, dude, those guys just had the pre-aims on me every time. I was always landing in predictable spots. Nothing really went my way at all, whether I played aggressive, played it slow. I got really bad timings. Um, and there's definitely a few bad plays that I just made flat out where I wanted to double challenge with my teammate, and I knew that he was going to stand in the window, so I was like, oh, let me run past him. And uh, as I went to go run past him, we both just end up dying, right? Um, so... Really awkward plays, um, really terrible plays from me. Quite frankly, we should consider that one a loss, uh, but we ended up winning because our teammates clutched up, thankfully. Um, so, cool. Moving on. Let's get some response so we can actually, we can actually learn some things. <laughs> oh, dude. Yeah, there are some gunfights where I was like, okay, cool. He's going to re-challenge this. Let me just pre-fire this. I win the gunfight, and he challenges it. None of my bullets hit. I die, and I just look like a bot. And I'm just like, all right, get me out of s and I do, <laughs> I do not want to play these gunfights anymore. Yeah, a dub is a dub. I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it for sure. But in terms of, like, personal play, wow, what a terrible start. Thankfully, we got four more games, and I can show you guys what's up. <laughs> so tip number one pray <laughs> pray that you're going to survive all right but hopefully this is a respawn and uh i have way more opportunities to make plays and if i make mistakes sometimes i'll have some bailouts uh available all right cool and the best part about this is uh, these guys over here, these guys right now probably think, oh, this is an easy win because Elias is terrible. And uh, that now puts me in the advantage. I'm already in their head. So uh, tip number two, make the enemies underestimate you. Now you're two to three steps ahead and you're going to win. <laughs> uh <clears throat> All right, we have three subs. All right, we got three subs. That's really not going to work. So I'm going to keep out the AR. Typically, I would run a trophy. All right, so we have two subs. I'm sure these guys are going to slay out. Once you get up into these higher rank lobbies, a lot of people prefer playing the sub and, you know, playing cracked. Uh, so I will gladly play this. Dang. I was really looking to see if I can get that kill right there. 
But the enemies didn't push through for a flip for some reason. Not sure why. Of course, he gets the peeker's advantage on me, wins the gunfight. 20 seconds, just gotta rotate. My teammates got the push through. That's three dead, last guy on old. I can sit time right here. I'm gonna get a trophy into hill. I'm gonna just get top right here. At the back. That's all four. Just gotta watch our back. And this is where it's like awkward because like because our subs like pushing out and slaying out like we kind of don't have spawns right now help my teammate over here help my teammate get that three piece and that guy spawned directly behind me that's a weird spawn oh never mind he just hit top and then dropped down to the bottom all right i'm gonna help my teammates with this old or actually i'm just gonna rotate right here my teammates are slaying Got a trophy. Nice easy two piece. Watch my front. Top done. That's all four. Have a trophy. Probably play for one kill right here and then I'll drop down. Swear we better have gate blocks. I was really hoping that kill streak wasn't gonna kill me right there, and then I would have been able to probably pick up one or two right there. Just flood in. I'm gonna get to high ground. I got the scrap and this is what I was really wanting to talk about is when it comes to playing crimson lobbies it's a matter of just playing the objective because your teammates usually know how to win gunfights and push out and slay out so your job is to just play the objective and win your gunfights on the objective um, now there are a few times where obviously we want to try to make sure we can get Obviously, there's times where we want to see if we can get spawns, and that would be a very good play. Of course. Didn't have dead silence, so he was just sound whoring me the entire time. Love it. This guy top P4. The hell? I'm gonna push up to P1 right here. Oh, did that guy spawn behind me? Damn. Maybe next time they'll estimate you. <laughs> Michael Scott. Absolutely. Absolutely. Should be another guy up there. Because that was not the sniper. Coming around over here. Dude. Sniper is just annoying. Damn. Alright. So there's that guy P1. We gotta really kill that guy P1 if we want to cross. So I already see a teammate going for that flank around, which is good. Oh, good challenge from bottom maps. Dang, I really thought my teammates were going to win that gunfight over here on the left. Uh, so we really need to focus this guy right now. There he is. Dang. I thought I heard something going top uh, boats. So I thought he rotated for a top boats play, but he didn't. Thankfully, I got a decent spawn right here. Oh, he was watching the back. I got that guy one shot, though. Damn. All right, 40 seconds. Just got to work with my teammates right here. 
Got that guy. Nice. Two dead. Top middle. Three dead. There we go. Last guy is on spawns. Get those 2v1 trade. Watching the push out right here. Maybe top. Top right there. Weak. Oh my gosh, dude. I was playing it. Dude, these guys like are winning gunfights and it's fucking... <laughs> it's annoying. Like, look at that guy pre-firing me, bro. Oh, look at that stuck. Bless Call of Duty for giving me that. Alright, we're just missing one. Maybe he's up there. Okay, I need to just make sure I anchor the back right here. So I'm just going to keep watching the back. Watch middle. Just going to watch middle. Okay, he should go top. There we go. Bottom middle. Dude. Dude. How did we all die right there? Ah, oh, we wouldn't even get spawns new. We just get into the spawn trap. Alright, at least we're getting scrap. Nice kill. Oh, that's too dead. We gotta go fast. There we go. Just got airstriked. It happened this time. Dang, I couldn't win that gunfight though. That would have been a very important gunfight to win. But I'm glad I was able to get a pick right there. Okay, just got a cross, I'm pretty sure. Dang, that would have been a really good two-piece to get. Uh, but we're up in kills right here. I can just focus on the rotation. Big, important kill. Should be a guy new though. There he is. No. Oh my gosh, the spawn out is nuts. Even though I have an AR, I'm gonna go for a hop up middle right here. Boom. 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 Got my knife ready for these guys. Ah, oh, dude. Good stun. Good stun. That's actually why I closed the door was I was hoping it could block the stun. Um, I was wrong. Nice kills. Give me that scrapped. we go. I can actually probably get a spawn trap right here. Dude, what a nade. Good flank by our teammate, though. He should get that two-piece. Oh. Nades over there. Make sure there's no wrap back. Got a trophy up here. Oh my gosh, I didn't hear that guy. Alright, the game will probably get tied up right here. And I think I'm going to fight this one last time. P1. I thought my teammates were honestly going to spawn new and fight P1. And that guy was going to fight uh, my teammates. But uh, I was wrong. That's a big gunfight to win on my part. Damn. Holy crap, what a spawn. What a spawn. Wow, 
how do I lose that, dude? No way. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're just losing gunfights now, but just got to be cool, calm, collected. No way. He was down there. There's just one guy on time. Dude, why are we all just going for the wall bang? Try to see if I can get a cut right here. Dude, no, I just choked for my team. One shot? Dude. Come on, guys. Let's go. Three piece, beautiful. Good job. I have the back. I have the back. Get on time. Dude, they just all push through there, man. Damn it. Dude, what? Oh, yeah, yeah. Two points, man. Dude, why, bro? Ah. <sighs> There's so many like small tiny mistakes that I should have fixed and we would have won. Damn, dude. That's so unfortunate. Like there was one play right there where I was so focused on thinking that the enemies were going to spawn behind us that they were actually spawning at gate and I should have crossed to the hill at the end right there and actually fought those enemies at gate. Instead, I was playing back expecting them to pinch because uh, I got a stun grenade hit and he also threw grenades as well. And then the second that I saw my teammate spawned, I was just like, oh, fudge, I made the wrong play. Damn, that's so unfortunate. All right. And isn't, isn't that uh, just typical and poetic where, you know, <laughs> when you finally do good, that's when you lose. And when you just do absolutely terrible, you win, right? Um, but... Those are some tough gunfights against those guys. Not going to lie. Um, yeah, just unfortunate. We never really won rotations for P4 at all. And then right there at the end, I just got to cross the hill. Get some bodies on hill and just play it that way. Uh, instead of playing for that pinch. And we would have won. What's going on, Justo? Thank you so much for stopping by, bro. I hope you're doing good. Welcome to Solo Tuesday. Again, everyone here, Solo Tuesday is every Tuesday at 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We play five games, and I give you tips and tricks along the way to ideally win majority of those games, three out of five. Uh, last week, we won four out of five. Today, we are so far on a one out of five win streak, and we lost one game just now by two points. Terrible. Terrible, terrible. Yeah, no, there's a few plays that if I just made, we would have won. Ugh, it just hurts. That's definitely a game that we uh, VOD review for sure. I also don't play AR. I actually way prefer playing submachine gun. Uh, so that was a game where I just had to basically play, you know, spawns and occasionally play hardpoint. All right, another S and D. Okay. First S and D went terrible because uh, I wasn't warmed up. But we quickly got over that one. 
Now this one. This one, I think we're, we're going to do good. We got what, two ARs, three ARs? I think I'm going to go for like a mid-rush play right here. Hopefully one of my teammates look over middle. Dude, this kid, bro. Like, this kid is joking me. Ay, 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 bro. I've ran into this sauce kid literally three games in a row. This sauce kid and this devil dog, three games in a row. And it's just, this sauce kid knows where I'm at every damn time. Such a hard gunfight to play against. Uh, but I'm assuming that right there, he probably has sound EQ on. He heard me fall off the table. And when he heard me fall off the table, he knew I was sitting right there. He threw the grenade to force me to either back up or push inside. And obviously, he heard me push inside, and that was uh, GG's on my part. Uh, my best play was just a uh, pre-fire and hope I can win the gunfight. Definitely can't wait for Modern Warfare 3. I think uh, S&D will be so much more enjoyable because you can make way more frequent plays like that right there. Uh, where if I had dead silence, I can make that play and win the game. SMG rule is super fun. It's by far my favorite rule. I've practiced it for years on end, and when you have to play the AR, it's, uh, it's a little hard. Just because, obviously, you don't pl practice it that much. Alright, but yeah. Super annoying. The sauce guy, I just gotta shut him out. All right, but at least we get an offense right here. I'll grab bomb next time, teammates. Sorry. Dude, the fact that he almost won that. Yeah, that right there, he just has bad centering, so I know he's not, like, hacking or whatever, so... Hopefully one of these AR players have a trophy and I can push up at A over here. And we do not. Dude, he just knows to check up top. He just knows to check up top. Oh yeah, he heard me again. Dude, I hate sound EQ. Please, dead silence, come back to the game. Because <sighs> right there, I got into that spot super fast. And uh, I'm just going to say, if he didn't hear me step on the metal crate for a few seconds, then I probably get a two-piece right there. Oh, man. But I guess it's my fault for not popping dead silence. It's just they would hear the dead silence pop. And uh, I also got to, you know, be ready to shoot my gun. But I mean, dude, our team, our AR players don't have trophies. I mean, <laughs> what do you expect? Stand by for the next one. 
So I guess like that's my fault. It's one, I should have had a trophy. Two, I should have just popped my dead silence and hope that, you know, I get my gun up in time. And that's about it. So unfortunate. They posted that MW3 will have dead silence perk. Yeah, but we don't know if it's going to be 100% dead silent or not. Um, that's my main, like, concern. Or question, rather. Because if it's 100% dead silent, like, you can't hear these enemies at all. Then, oh yeah, I love it. Oh yeah. What? How do I lose that gunfight? <laughs> he jumps up and gets a headshot by accident, it looked like. That's so annoying. Oh my gosh. He gets another headshot. Good for him. Let's go. All right. Did my teammates learn to have a trophy system? Let's find out. Nope. They just said, hey guys, we want to keep our dead silence. <clears throat> That's my fault. I shot his feet. I should have aimed for his head. Dude, that is so ridiculous, though. Damn it. Again, like right there, I gotta just aim for those headshots. I just gotta... Literally, you gotta practice and always try to go for headshots, aim for center mass, you know, neck level, so you get those headshot multipliers. Uh, right there, that's the clear reason why I lost that gunfight. I shot, basically, his stomach and his legs, so he's not gonna die. But, at least right there... Uh, because my teammates didn't die, the enemies didn't have confidence to push out, so that's where my play worked that time. Um, it's just uh, how Call of Duty works. <laughs> but it's funny how uh, the right like fix is to basically throw down a trophy system, and my teammates said, no, let's just not push up. <laughs> Yeah, so they say there's a di dead silence perk, but is it 100% dead silent where you can't hear footsteps at all, which is what we want, and you can't hear mantling, you can't hear jumping, you can't hear anything, that's what we want, or is it going to be like Call of Duty Cold War, where once the enemy gets like two steps in front of you, you can hear them. Kind of got to make a play right here. Did that grenade just not hit him? Dude, I didn't hit him with enough bullets. Oh, gosh, dude. Uh, again, I'm just going to blame it on me not being warmed up and hitting my shots. Because, uh, damn, I really thought I should have had that. Um, I should have pre-fired him. I should have pre-fired him. That's what I should have done. Ah, oh, dude. It's just playing against these guys uh, on this internet right now is just freaking tough for me. Oh, not for him, though. He's hitting shots. Ah. Oh. Thank you. 
Yeah, I don't know if you played Cold War just now, um, but basically the way they had it is Dead Silence was a perk and you couldn't hear anything, but you actually could. Where like if I was sitting in a corner and I play to hear you push up, um, I can hear you like push up five feet near me. And like I can hear you pick up bomb and stuff like that. It's just uh, kind of not the ideal way to play. Dude, get me around the corner, game. Like, what? Just get me around the corner, please. Ugh. He shot my feet. <laughs> nah, I was really hoping that guy was gonna challenge out, like jump out of the door, and I was gonna be able to get good timing, but these guys are playing a, a very uh, conservative, where they're just holding a lot of pre-aim, so good for them. <clears throat> Their strategy is a lot more reactive and play off of reacting, and mine is more of a, hey, here's my game plan. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's get it done and over with. Yeah, I remember, but only played ranked in this game. Yeah, so it, it was just annoying how in Cold War you can still listen to the bomb plants and all that. Let's go. That was a good 2v4 clutch right there. Basically what happened was we went for a 3-1 uh, hit where three of us went A, one of us went towards B. I think one of us went middle, so it was like a 2-1-1. But basically the point is, is we made the enemies think we were going A and our teammate had a free plan at B. I played back and basically played for the enemies to push up and try to flank. And just cause I was be, uh, able to play like a rat and sit in a few corners, I was able to pick up you know, two kills right there and clutch us the round. That was a good one. These guys are planning to go A, or I mean B it looks like. No. I thought there was gonna be a guy at A. I thought I heard someone. Uh, I'm D1, mainly solo queue. Always get bad teammates with no mics and they act like they're silver players. Bro, <laughs> I, I'll tell you right now, it doesn't get better. When you get into Crimson and Iridescent, there's gonna be a lot of times where you have those players. Uh, the only difference is they know how to get kills. Um, where they just don't play the objective or they don't play hard point at all. So that's actually my number one tip is a lot of the time you just are forced to play the objective. And if you just prioritize rotating early, getting to the objective, you're going to, um, oh, wow, they hit a double challenge. That's a great play by them. Reason why I played that so aggressive because I never expected the double challenge like that before. But my teammates clutched up for us, thankfully. Thank you, teammates. I watch all your videos and use your tips. Always have bad luck with teammates, though. It, it's it's tough, bro. It is tough, dude. Um, yeah, the best advice I can give is just literally rotate early and play for the objective as much as possible. Play for the objective on control, play for the objective on hard point, and play for the objective in S and D. Um, I will say that, of course, the callouts you should give to your teammates is Hey guys, I'm watching all of front. Please look middle and look our flank, right? Uh, usually there's only three lanes you have to worry about. So if you're holding one, tell your teammates to watch the other two. Um, but other than that, dude, it's uh, 
You just got to go big on the objective. And of course, slay out. Like, that's the whole reason on why you want to play the objective is because you should trust yourself to know where the enemies are coming from. And you should always trust yourself to get that three piece. Always best case scenario is your teammates actually win the gunfights, right? Um, but like I said, even in Crimson lobbies, when your teammates are winning the gunfights, they're usually, you know, not playing for spawns or playing for the objective. So even in these Crimson lobbies, I find myself playing the objective a lot uh, too as well. Um, now, that being said, there are times where you get carried, and that's always nice. Like, the first game today, I flat out got carried, dude. I flat out got carried, and I was so appreciative for it. And then in the next game, I kind of do really good and kind of carry, but we lose by two points, which uh, we're going to VOD review that um, after these next two games. Uh, right now, we uh, played three games, and we won two of them, and we have two more games to see what can ha uh, to see if we can win them. I just hope I don't play those guys anymore. This Devil Dog, this Heroism, uh, Heroism, and this Sauce Guy. I've been playing with them non-stop in these games, and they, it's been annoying. This Sauce Guy has been dropping 40 bombs, 14 bombs, non-stop. Thank you for uh, stopping by the stream, by the way, Aimless. I really appreciate it. Um, please let me know if you ever have any questions. I'm always happy to help. And uh, thank you for the support. I really appreciate it. I uh, hope all of your games are going good. And I hope your uh, three-day weekend was good as well. If, uh, you, if you live in America, of course. And celebrate the Labor Day. Dude, here we go again. Playing against Herogasm. Two hard points, two S and Ds. There he is again, my nemesis. Here we go. <laughs> Fourth time we're playing against each other. I'm hoping to go up three one against him right here. The one game he did win, he won by two points in hard point. This hard point, I'm hoping it goes way different. Uh, let's see here. We got a MP7, a AR, two ARs, two subs. That's good. If I uh, keep getting slammed by an MP7 or a Vel, I'm probably going to pull that out. And I've never used it yet, so <laughs> that could look ugly. All right, so a very important tip on this map is breaking through left lane is way more important, and it will flip spawns. Yet, for some reason in rank play, everyone goes right in middle. And when that happens, the enemies are just going to keep spawning at good spawns. So let's see what happens. What, what do my teammates do? They go right lane. Oh shoot, messed up my movement. I'm just trying to flip spawns right away. Oh dude, I just wanted to throw a shoulder and escape, but that was actually cringe. All right. Nice two-piece. I'll follow up middle with my teammate. Big kill on the right right here. One shot. Good trade. Easy two-piece. My teammate pushed up the left, so we should flip. All right, we're getting close to flip. These guys are spawning, or gonna start spawning behind us. It's gonna be like one guy. All right, there we go. Good kills. I'm gonna hold pin. Okay, good. My teammate pushed out, I was gonna say. All right. I sit on the spot. Well, <laughs> and there's that. I get stunned. No trophies. I guess that's another uh, common trend I'm finding in these lobbies is my teammates don't like running trophies at all. And because of that, I, it gets annoying.
Big gunfight. Oh yeah, yeah. No. Okay, good. I'm still alive. Should be a guy flanking me though. Okay, my teammates here. Okay, my teammates here. That's two dead. Flying in. Weak one shot, easy trade. Boom, yeah, we broke hill. There we go. Right there, my job is just to play my life, let my teammates just try to get some damage down, and then we play entries. But this is a crap spawn. Not sure why why we got that crap spawn. Okay, slow my teammates back. No aim. Oh, I got aim assist, but not on him. <laughs> Good for that guy. 20 seconds left. I'm down to just rotate and get a full 60 on new. All right, that guy's already peeking out. Oh yeah, and this is the early lobbies where these people are going for cuts hella early and everything. Everyone's on board. I'm sure we're gonna get pinched. Okay, while they fight that, I'm gonna hold our pinch. Wow, dude. This guy is just the best. He knows how to predict me every time, dude. He's him. He is him. Just gotta play my life right here. Nice. There's the sniper. <laughs> oh, what a spawn. Go up for the power position. Dude. Dude. It's like, I can't kill these guys. The best thing I can do is just juke them out, hopefully. Except for that guy. I can always kill that guy. There's no one else. Uh, thought they were going to hit old, but it looks like they're just rotating for new or something. Yeah, so they did hit old, but they only got five seconds. I don't know. <sighs> oh, dude. Naded myself. Love it. Dude, I'm... I am Call Me Mr. Assist. Full pinch. Dude. Okay, I was gonna say, if Sauce predicted that, I was gonna be mind boggled. <laughs> Why is that hitting me? I don't know if someone already crossed yet or not, but let me check. Nope. Oh, brother. I got to aim lower. That's a good drop shot. But the whole point of that was I had a teammate holding my cross with me, so... My whole plan was just to mess with those guys, just make them tweak a little bit. Teammate, let my teammate shoot him on the pinch and wait for my other teammate. Teammate, shoot him. Okay, he's waiting for me, I guess. Wait, what? Was he top RV? Yeah, he was. 
I only have eight kills? I don't believe that. That's nuts. Dude, these ARs are so annoying. I can't believe I only have nine kills. That actually doesn't feel like it. Feels like I was frying. us the flip. Dude, I got us the flip and we we lost it. Oh, I guess one of the enemies rotated or something. That's a cool spot. Nice. Easy. <sighs> All right, I went from nine kills. I got extremely self-conscious and said, "All right, let me get some kills real quick." <laughs> Holy crap! Okay, good. Ah, uh, of course, man. And yeah, I'm in the U.S. My weekend was kind of crazy. I've been on that kick grind. ARs are crazy different with no barrel. Dude, those ARs are making me rip my hair out, but I'm just going to, I'm going to focus on, you know, always being, so here's what I always thought, right? Is it's probably always best to put yourself at a disadvantage. And what I mean by that is if these pro players are playing with, you know, strict guns with strict attachments, I'm just going to stick to that, right? Even though the Vel is better or the no barrel AR is way better. Even though there's all of that, I'm still going to just try to stick to what the pros are using. And that may put me at a disadvantage, but the whole point of it is it forces myself to always, you know, play better, right? Make the smarter plays, make the smarter moves. Um, and then really, well, actually, that's actually just it. <laughs> uh, that's actually really about it. Um I was going to mention other like disadvantages such as like, you know, playing on PC. Like right now a lot of people are just playing on PS5 so they don't run into hackers, which sounds phenomenal. Uh but I'm playing on PC just cuz I'm forced to play on PC for the next year and until Challengers changes into PlayStation, we're going to be on PC. So I'm going to play on PC, right? And uh I want to be better than the hackers, right? Of course. I, I always want to be better than the hackers. I want to be better than every player. I saw a post on X recently, and someone said, man, it sucks that all these hackers outshine people who worked hard for years. And that does suck, but they're using that as a reason to quit. And it's like, I think that's just a poor reason to quit because uh, you want to be better. It's a valid reason. It is a valid reason, and you know, you got to be privileged to be able to do this, but... At the end of the day, I mean, you're going to want to be better than that hacker, right? Again, forcing yourself to be better, figure out how to play smarter. And uh, it's it's all about just following the routine, all right? Warm up, work on your mechanics, and then go ahead and rewatch your gameplay. Figure out the little things you can fix and change. After every game, sit there and think, what are the little things you could have done better? And uh, hopefully you get to a point where you start dreaming about Call of Duty and start thinking about, damn, I should have made that play. <laughs> um, that will happen, especially if you start uh, computing for money. Uh, but we are at three out of five wins or three out of four wins. We did it. So already we got three out of four wins. 
this is the last match. Maybe it's going to be hard point again. Ah, uh, it's control. Okay, that's fine. We had two SNDs, two hard points, one control today. We won three games so far. The one game we lost was a hard point, but it was by two points. We're going to review that afterwards. But in this last game right here, let's see if we can win it and end the stream four wins out of five. Yeah, I'm 100% hate running into them. I'm on PC as well. Dude, oh man, it is it is a struggle, but it's good that, you know, you just focus on yourself. Don't focus on raging, even though I was raging. Finally, in our last game, we have different people to play against. <sighs> uh, but, dude, it's crazy that you've been on the kick grind. Congrats, man. I hope that's been treating you well. One guy already main. That sucks. <laughs> I should have went for the knife, but I threw the nade because that's the play I wanted to make. Uh, just make sure no one's pushing right there. I think these guys are just going to full hit B. Dang. All right. At least I got my teammate that trade right there. That was a good bait and switch. All right. That's three dead. These enemies are very well going to push up A right here. Fortunately, I don't have dead silence for the A flank, but right now all my teammates should look at the map and understand they just got to really look middle right here. Budge, good pre fire by that guy. Or pre aim. Nice, just 1v1. These guys are probably going to fly up middle right here. Nice. Okay. It's a big kill because now I can finish the full flank here. No, dude, I thought that was a good play by getting that kill middle and then flanking onto point. Dude, dang it. So like it was a good play because right there, I that that was my purpose for doing that is when I kill that guy middle, he's going to call out to his teammates, middle, 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 middle. And when I got to A from catwalk, both of those guys were looking, you know, at their middle flank um, and they weren't looking at me where if I just got there sooner or had more time, I would have been able to kill them and capture that dude. Dang it. Just got to play for a few kills right here. Damn, dude. I honestly thought he was going to think I was on the head glitch. But uh, that was actually just a simple good pre-fire on his hand. We good on the cut? There we go. I'll hold your pinch, brother. Oh, 
There we go. All right, usually, hello. It's a good spot. Uh, I played Vanguard Comp. That was super fun. My old team fell apart after that. I have not had a chance to find a new one yet. Dude, it's so hard finding teammates, bro. It is so hard. I mean, I'm, I'm like kind of lucking out just because, you know, I've been doing this for a while. So I'm kind of lucking out. Bottom luggage? Where? Oh my gosh, what a spot. Bottom luggage. Alright. I was gonna say, oh, I need to pull out an AR, but... She's gonna get four done. That's all we gotta do. Let's go, that's all four dead, baby. Just gotta get another wave of kills, though. No! We just gotta get another wave of kills, guys! Just play for kills right there! Dude! The one game mode that you have to care about for kills. Like, come on now. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Right there, I just... remembered where all those enemies were sitting in our building. And... Hey, I was able to basically get a three-piece, clear them out of our base. Uh, we, our teammate gets on time to stop time, and then right there, um, if I had my mic on to communicate, I would have said, hey guys, just play for kills now. Play for kills. Play for one wave, we win the round. Um, kick is dope. I'm not going to self-promote in your stream, but thank you. It means a lot. No, man. Dude, I mean, what is your kick? Is it kick.com slash aimless? Good pre-aim. Damn it, dude. Alright, my ARs are finally getting the kills. Let's go, guys. We're getting some structure on the map. Dude, why did... <laughs> like, right there, we have full control of B. Clearly, they're not going B. And then... Ah, that was so weird. Challenge up. Teammate should be able to pick up that. This might be a bad spot, but I genuinely think if my teammates get my back, I'd probably get a two-piece right here. Yep, one, two, maybe a three? Okay, last guy's main. <laughs>
They're all three on B, no. Good two piece teammate. Let's go. One more on B. Dude. It's just one guy, please. Oh no. No, 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 no. Why didn't I just go top bed and flank? Why didn't I just go top bed and flank? I literally ah, oh, dude. I should have just went top bed right there and flanked. I don't know why it took so long. I genuinely thought one of those enemies were going to rotate back and try to flip uh, through middle. Um, but instead, they just all four-man hit through front B right there. And once again, I actually lost my team that game right there. Um, I should have just popped dead silence, hit that top bedroom flank as fast as possible. I didn't think the enemies were going to rush it. Uh, they only had four lives left. I genuinely thought they were going to slow it down. But damn, that was a 3-0 game right there. Um, for sure, I lost my team that last round. The other rounds, tough, 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 tough. But I mean, hey, I'll tell you what. First episode, we win one out of five games. Second episode, we win four out of five games. And then in this episode, we win three out of five games. And uh, one of the games, we flat out kind of just lost because of me. There's a few plays I should have made uh, that would have helped my team win, such as if I hit a flank faster, I would have got to A, uh, stop them at a cap we would have won the round and then uh, there's that round right there where if I just flanked B faster would have got there got the kills and won the round um, again I was just thinking about different things like I was thinking oh my teammates have a 3v1 on hill then they can just hold pre-aims and they know that the enemies are hitting front bedroom but they all ended up dying immediately um, and I didn't pay attention to that and I was just super slow on the flank uh, so that was uh, definitely I, I would say my loss on that control but uh, let's talk about that hard point because that hard point was interesting, to say the least. Aimless999, absolutely. Go follow him on kick, everyone. Tough, tough loss. Ended up dying immediately. You can already hear me. Okay. All right. Now, actually, before I do this review, um, Aimless, do you have any gameplay you would like me to review for tomorrow? Because uh, tomorrow I am doing Better Gamer, and uh, I need a VOD to uh, do community VOD review. So if you have any gameplay you'd like me to review for tomorrow, please let me know. Send it on over, and uh, be more than happy to give some uh, tips, ideally. Uh, but we are going to go ahead and get into the review of the session. Um, we lost two games today. We lost that control. It was kind of a 3-0 loss. I kind of know what I needed to fix, uh, but this hard point right here, there's a lot of little things in this hard point uh, that we should look out for and uh, ultimately pay attention to to win the game. Um, now, I have two submachine guns and I am running the AR, so I have to essentially try to focus on spawns most of the time. Right there, I was genuinely hoping that maybe I can get a challenge middle uh, because none of our teammates saw anyone bench for quite a while. Um, but now we finally start getting the kills. I die again to this guy just because he simply heard me pushing and he jumps out with Peeker's advantage. He wins that gunfight. And it's like, in, in the future, like, I knew I lost this gunfight. So, boom, he gets that two-piece. I kind of knew I lost this gunfight because he heard me break open the door. He heard me run. He knows I'm here. So, right here, I kind of just got to hope that he's weak and I can win the gunfight. I hit him with two bullets. But as we can see, he wasn't weak at all. Um, so... That right there in the future, the communication would be like, oh, he's not weak at all. So what I would do is I would lay down and hold the pre-aim and play for headshots when he jumps out and ego challenges me because uh, that's what he's going to do. He's full health. Um, or in the future, when I hear that, oh, he's not weak at all, I can, you know, maybe 
throw a nade or something and then help me try to win that gunfight a little bit better. Uh, right here, I didn't have any communication. I just assumed he was one shot. That's why I went for the ego chow and that's why he got a three piece. Good for him. Yeah, uh, you can click on my Discord in the description below and uh, there's a channel called Community VOD and then just paste your uh, kick stream, your YouTube video or what have you and uh, we'll be happy to check it out. All right, so right here, this is already one issue that we're gonna run into a lot in solo queue. It's when you're in Crimson, brother, we gotta get the hard point or we gotta get spawns. Right now, I got two teammates at old and then I got a teammate cutting middle. One of my teammates is also trying to cut middle and this teammate should rotate back and basically play spawns while I play on hard point. But what happens instead is that teammate doesn't go for those spawns and instead he also goes middle and he goes for a cut. And that leaves me trying to do two things, hold spawns and soak up hard point time. So this puts me in a very awkward position where now all the enemies are actually gonna spawn back here and they're gonna be able to challenge us head on. And um, it gets a little tight right here, but thankfully I win some of these tough gunfights. So we'll see it right here where I'm just soaking up hard point time, but I know that they're gonna spawn behind me. I win that gunfight, very important, but I anticipate another guy to be back there, especially since my teammate spawned out. I still expect a guy to be back there. I help my teammate with those gunfights, and at least my sub player um, was, you know, took a heads up play on that and uh, challenged out with me. Now the only downside is this guy right here must have spawned bottom maps. Uh, or not bottom maps. This guy right here must have spawned bottom cannon and then he was able to push out and play for a kill. Uh, that's the only reason why I think he was able to kill me right here. Or actually, it looks like he jumped out of top cannon. So I gotta just pay a better attention next time on the spawns. Right here, there's 20 seconds left. We should be playing for the rotations. We have three dead, which means three players are gonna be rotating. So I'm holding this left lane push through holding the uh, pre-aim, nice, beautiful two-piece. Again, I'm still expecting a third player. There's the three-piece, that's four dead. And based on the minimap right now, these enemies should be spawning out over at P2, and we're in a spawn trap to basically go up nearly 100 points against these guys. Um, so one thing that happened is, again, always look at your minimap every second because my teammate was right here blocking the gate spawns. And guess what? He said, all right, I'm done blocking the gate spawns. Let me go watch the same thing you're watching. And now what's going to happen is because he gave up this right here, these enemies have a potential to spawn gate and now they can just flood us and kill us. Uh, so immediately that's why I threw that stun grenade is to make sure that no one spawned over there but thankfully he picked it back up our teammates spawn right there we get kill streaked so I pushed up trying to play for a pick up close uh, that didn't work for me that time but it does work in the future and um right here the enemies they just break the hill just because of a simple kill streak but once again we get the kills and we end up getting scrap going up uh what 80 to 20 or 80 to 30 basically um, okay, cool. So going to P4, P4, we almost never won the rotations for P4. And I think this is the one hill where we really didn't get any time, quite frankly. Um, so let's watch this. Uh, right here, I'm going for the push through um, to try to help flip the spawns. So I have a teammate pushing through over here. I'm pushing through over here so we can guarantee to flip these enemies out uh, either gate or flip them out towards P5. And not only am I going over here um, to flip the spawns, but I also go for my hop up up top. And unfortunately, I didn't have dead silence and the enemy hears me do this. So when he has sound EQ and crimson, he's just going to be able to predict that. And he killed me just like that. A uh, little unfortunate, uh, but right here, we're just kind of just constantly attacking the hill which really isn't helping us because we got to look for kills first, obviously. And like, that's the first time where if you looked at the mini map, our teammates are playing their lives like really damn well, uh, such as this guy right here. He was sitting top steps for, I think a good, maybe 15 seconds before we went for a break on that hill. And just because we all waited and played our lives, we were able to break hill. Um, now we're at a point where I know that these guys are spawning at gate and spawning at P5. So I'm pushing up for a spawn trap. Unfortunately, I couldn't kill that guy and right here I have to quickly do a heads up play because this teammate is now blocking the p5 spawns I'm now blocking these spawns this teammates blocking p2 spawns So if you do the quadrant rule 
all these quadrants are blocked, these enemies are going to spawn behind me. And at least one enemy spawns behind me. Uh, this enemy right here, I, I don't know what his name is, but he spawns behind me and he just pushes up and kills me. I got to pay attention to that way better. And <laughs> long and behold, it's Sauce. I played against him all day. Jeez. Um, okay, cool. So right here, we spawn up. I understand that Sauce is still playing over at P1. So right now, we're basically just holding our cross for our teammate, where um, I can help this cross whenever we need it, but I'm mostly trying to hold this cross and hold the middle cross. This teammate ideally should uh, hold the wall and hold left cross. So let me put a different color for our teammate. He should be holding this left cross. And this entire time, we're just looking over our teammate and helping him soak up as much time as possible. And by getting into this setup right here, this enemy over at P1 is irrelevant. Now, the second that our teammate dies, now this teammate is relevant. This guy at P1 is relevant. So right here, we're ignoring the guy at P1 because we don't need to worry about him. Who cares? Screw him. Let's soak up the hard point time. But now that our teammate dies in time is the point where that guy in P1 is going to shine. So quite frankly, one of our teammates, like 15 seconds earlier, should have been you know, rotating and playing for that kill over at P1 because that's a very important kill because uh, now he's just going to hold the cross and no one's going to get time at this point. Uh, but right here, I thought my teammates were playing for P1, but again, that sauce guy was just nuts. He was winning a lot of his gunfights. <sighs> Excuse me. And uh, right here with 10 seconds left, I am deciding to... What, what am I deciding to do? Okay, I was deciding to rotate and play for that kill, but I gotta play that better, bro. That's so cringe. Like, I am taking the worst gunfight ever. I should at least be on the bench holding a pre-aim. I should do a hop up on top of the truck to hold a pre-aim. I should just make sure I'm behind cover and hold the pre-aim middle if I wanted to. Or I need to get behind uh, the cannon head glitch and uh, sit behind the pre-aim as well, uh, behind these boxes in the cannon head glitch. I just need to be in a way better spot. Right here, I'm just out in the open. Of course, I'm going to lose that gunfight. Uh, but it does spawn me at P2, so I'm looking for this uh, spawn flip right here. And unfortunately, this guy gets a really good angle on me uh, before I can get the angle on him. He wins the gunfight. If I had a better pre-fire, I'd probably win the gunfight. Again, that's one of those scenarios where uh, pre-firing is what's going to help you win the gunfight, such as right there. I pre-fire and win it. We get three dead. We need to start pushing through and playing for the flip. My teammates should play for that 2v1. And right here, I understand that we didn't flip, so there's still going to be maybe one or two enemies spawning up over here and going top or trying to wrap out over here. Maybe they're going to play for the rotation. And because we spawned out middle, that means there's also an enemy spawning at circle, which is going to pinch our teammate on time. Uh, so right here, I'm kind of just slowing down and looking for these kills real quick. And that's where I wish I got that kill middle because that one kill middle uh, would have basically soak us, uh, soaked up the rest of the time for P1. Um, right here, it's just cringe. It's just cringe. And I get a out of jail free card because I get a slim text throw grenade. <laughs> Uh, but right here, my teammates, once again, instead of my teammates, you know, kind of like wrapping back to play spawns and we uh, just watch the front and play the front. Instead, what's happening is our teammates are going for a double pinch, which that's actually good. That's actually good. As long as I back up and sit over here and hold our full flank, my teammates can go for this double cut middle. And that's totally fine. And uh, I pick up on that heads up play and I go sit in the back. And that's exactly what I do to hard block spawns. So... Uh, that was a great play, just us playing as a team. And this is where now we start bumping. Where the second my teammate spawns up, essentially he should be, you know, holding pinch, playing for spawns, just how he is right there. But um, usually what would happen is I would fly out, go for a trade. I would fly out middle, go for a trade. Or this teammate would fly out, go for a trade. And then my teammate would get to time. Our other teammate would spawn up. And then our next teammate who spawns up can obviously get to time or he can go middle. Um, so that's where bumping comes into play, and we just didn't bump at all in ranked play right here. Uh, a very important fundamental in pro hardpoint that we just simply didn't do. Uh, we get kill streaked, and now the enemies just flat out hit front, sit in the corner. Good for them. Right here, uh, a lot of this game, the precision strikes caused a lot of breaks in uh, some of these hard points, especially for P2, or I mean P3 rather. Uh, but right here, we get two dead. We know that we can push through. We get three dead, last guy on time. And based on our teammate blocking P2, these enemies should be spawning out over at uh, bottom maps. Um, or sorry, bottom uh, boat. 
right? Or bottom art, whatever you call it. Uh, right here, I get precision strike again, and I go for the kill. It worked this time. I love it. And then, unfortunately, I get sniped. Okay, right here, I was expecting uh, these enemies to pinch us. And I think this is actually where, um, not in this hill, but in the next rotation, I make a terrible play that kind of costs us, us the win, and we uh, lost. Uh, but right here, we get three dead. All the enemies are spawning at old. We can get them in a spawn trap. I know this guy is new. I win that big gunfight right there. Unfortunately, that guy spawned at P2, so good for him, or someone didn't pick up that trade on Blue Devils. Um, I'm not sure how that guy got through, unfortunately, uh, but the enemy should have spawned behind us, and instead, it looks like maybe they spawned P2 because of squad spawns, and uh, that kind of screwed us over. But right here, I just take my patience, or I play it patient, and I get a good three-piece. I pull out my knife. Um, I figured these guys were going to throw grenades, and I wanted to try to close the doors. That was a bit of a cringe play. I could have just reloaded and played for the gunfights. Um, who, who do I think I am, right? <laughs> uh, but we get three dead. I know that these guys are probably going to st still hit old, um, but they didn't. And right here, I'm looking at my mini-map and understanding that we're missing the right lane. So I'm picking up this right lane. And that was a good nade. I don't know how that person got that nade in there, but damn, what a good nade. Uh, we get two dead. And right here, we just need to play time. So right there, there's something that happened. Our teammate is going for a pinch play. I don't like that because that's going to spawn us out at bad spawns and the enemies are going to be uh, basically prepared for P1, right? So when there's 20 seconds left, they can start wrapping back and start playing for P1. Um, and not only that, now they have spawns for P1 and they have spawns for P2. Uh, so I personally don't like the flank on P5. Some people do, though. Just not my cup of tea. Um, but thankfully, he doesn't do it again right here, and we uh, spawn middle. Unfortunately, I didn't hear that guy top maps. And then right here, now we have bad spawns. This is where we try to keep just 1v1-ing this time. We're not getting any kills, and uh, the enemies are now rotating right there again. My whole uh, point of me challenging right here was I was hoping that this teammate was going to challenge P1, and I wasn't going to get shot from behind, but unfortunately I do. Um, and we guarantee not any time on that uh, P5 scrap. Uh, but right here, I understand that we just need to play tight. That's a very important gunfight for me to win. Uh, I just got to, again, get behind the bench. Take a way better gunfight. Come on, Elias. Um, or maybe pull out a sub and get up close and personal. Right there, I was genuinely hoping I was going to win that gunfight. But again, that sauce kid is cracked. He is just hitting pre-fires like insane. Um, good for him. And right here, my teammates, they just kept not going for the trades, unfortunately. I don't know what happened. It's kind of, It felt like we kind of like got scared and like stopped. Like, I don't know what we are doing, quite frankly. Like, we have two players alive at Hill. Okay, we have one player alive at Hill. We get that trade. I get that dead. And then there's only one player in Hill, one player playing at um, bottom maps. And we just lose the gunfights. Well, that sucks. Uh, but right here with 20 seconds, that's big time. So right here, I just started to shoot to try to destroy the uh, trophies and thought that he might challenge out. He did, which was perfect. And then right here, we get three dead. And I should have looked over P1 with my teammate. I should have. So this is a heads up play that I need to do next time. And this is what I was talking about. There's a few little things that I messed up on that would have helped my team win. Where the second we get this three dead, these enemies are spawning out at circle. They're influenced to push out and fight through P1 and go bottom middle. What I can do is I can sit right here and hold the cross for my teammate. And if I get one shot or I can't fight it anymore, then I can back up and hold this middle push, right? Uh, but instead, what I do is I back up immediately, leave my teammate alone, and I don't play for that cut. And that's a bad play by my part. Um, that would just help us maintain map control, give me probably a kill or two. And uh, right here, this is where I just get crap Call of Duty timing. Where again, maybe if I push out, I get one of those kills, I back up, that guy challenges the stairs, there's my two piece. Instead, I just flat out backed up and they 2v1'd me. That was just cringe, embarrassing. Um, <laughs> I'm using those words very loosely. <laughs> it's so funny. Uh, I'm just kind of like in the mode of just like, critiquing myself it's so funny uh but we got three dead we can definitely tie up the game right here our teammate was already going for a rotation that was good this is where the bumps i wanted to do where our teammate we have three dead our teammate should be pushing out and already rotating 
Uh, but instead, what happens is our teammate gets a squad spawn middle, and that also proves that there's enemies spawning back here. Uh, so right now, me and my teammate just need to hold each other's backs. I get that trade. Unfortunately, my teammate spawns behind me, and he was supposed to bump me, uh, but instead he goes for the, for the right lane flank, which is not bad at all. It's just I was hoping he was going to win that right lane flank, and this is where we lose again, where I'm basically watching this pinch. I thought we were going to get pinched, and the enemy didn't pinch. If I looked at my minimap sooner and realized my teammate spawned next to me, I would have pushed across and played for these kills. That's a terrible play by me, and that's why we ended up losing. Um... Even right there, I should just push through. Boo, dude, three times in a row, I make a terrible play. Because right there, we all spawn right here. If I just, you know, literally rush right here, we have three teammates to fight these guys head on. All we have to do is focus what's right in front of us. Instead, what do I do is I push out, go for a pinch, and I block this spawn right here. And now what's happening is all the enemies are spawning at gate, and now they're getting that, um, you know, head-on fight that I just talked about, and that's why we lose. So... I was literally the sole reason why I lost this hard point, unfortunately. Um, but that's the whole point of this series is to critique and look at the things we need to fix and change. And right there, I made a terrible play. I made three terrible plays in a row that ultimately made us lose. The first one was I didn't fight the challenge on P1 to in preparation for P2. Um, the second issue right there is I didn't just push across the hill to help my teammates on time. And then the third issue right there is I just didn't go fight time. Instead, I tried to pinch front, which ultimately gave the enemies good spawns. So terrible plays by me. Uh, really upsetting to watch that. But the whole point of VOD review is now I'm never going to make that mistake again. And next week when we do Solo Q's Day again, episode four, I can guarantee you that when we're on Albaga Fortress on hardpoint, I am not going to make that mistake again. Um, and that's the whole point of this series. Um, all right, Aimless. So if you're still here, Aimless, sorry, I kind of went on a rant right there. Uh, but Aimless, if you're here, you join my Discord, Gamers Pathway. And then when you join, you have uh, Gamers Chat, right? So here's the welcome, and then here's Gamers Chat, and then there's Community VOD in Gamers Chat right here. Should probably put a star or something. Why is only Discord popping up and not Google? Oh, it's because I'm on Google. <laughs> That's funny. It's funny. That is funny. Okay. Um... Yeah, I've already done a gold star though, right? Yeah, I already have a gold star, but I'll do... What's a good emoji for that? All right, it's the community VOD with that film. That did not look like it. That's supposed to be a film projector, and that looks like, like an Osprey gunner instead. I gotta find a better one. Oh, someone's about to post in community VOD. Oh, there you are, thank you, thank you, you found it. Um, I need to find a better emoji for that. What emoji, emoji should I use? Yeah, and uh, we will review that tomorrow at 10.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, if you can make it. That's actually a better emoji. It's kind of off-brand, but I like it. What do you think of this one? Look at that emoji. That's a better one. How 
half is Warzone ranked and the rest is CDL. This is me and your boy Stanley Beamer. Cool. Um, did you want me to go over Warzone ranked or did you want me to go over CDL? Uh, that is one thirty Eastern. So tomorrow at one thirty PM Eastern, we will review your VOD review. Of course, like the first five, 10 minutes will be like a intro, you know, just, Hey everyone, welcome. Um, but the first thing we always do is a community VOD. And uh, would you like Warzone or would you like uh, CDL? Because there's actually a brand new Warzone map coming out tomorrow. So I was kind of already planning to uh, play a majority of Warzone. So, yeah, it's up to you, of course. Uh, but let's get a dopamine rush real quick, shall we? Oh, something went wrong. Bruh. <laughs> let's get a dopamine rush, shall we? Dude, Call of Duty gives zero dopamine, bro. What the hell is this? What happened? What happened to my screen? CDL? All right, bet. Yeah, tomorrow we will focus on the CDL portion of your game. Dude, something went wrong again. We will focus on your CDL tomorrow and... Uh, it's a fun, it's a fun experience along the way. You can ask any questions, of course. Um, and usually what I do is after the live stream, I also turn that video into a uh, regular YouTube video. So I hope that's okay. <laughs> All right, come on. Dopamine rush now. Damn. It's just not giving it to us. All right, well, with that being said, I think what we're going to do is we're going to play one more ranked game, right? Because we don't want to end it on a loss. We don't want to end it on a loss. Come on. We're going to play one more ranked game. Ideally, we're going to win it. And uh, we're going to end the stream right there. All right? Oh, I don't know if you're in here, uh, but I just got a new subscription from Nathan Hahn. Thank you so much for subscribing. Welcome. I hope all the content has been helpful. I'm also not sure uh, what to do with like my editing style and my thumbnail style. I just figure that most people kind of want raw, uncut gameplay and like um, description just so you can click around and figure out what you want to learn. Um, that's one thing I like about YouTube is it's interactive in a way. Um, or do people want like, no, bro, I want a beautiful concise five minute video explaining X, Y, Z, right? Like, should I take time into writing a script um, or what? Um, Cause normally I have, you know, uh, what is it? I have bullet points that I want to go over, but I don't normally like have a actual script for a video. Like I don't do actual video videos, right? <laughs> Springberg hotel. Let's end it with a hard point. We had uh, two controls, two S and D's, and one hard point today. Maybe we can get a uh, hard point, please. Of course, playing against Hero Gasm again. Control, bro. Okay, <laughs> we played three controls, two S and D's, and one hard point today. How about that? All right. So um, for this game, if you remember, I uh, was super slow on my flanks. So this time I just got to be way better at it. Um, these three guys down here, they're pretty good. I think they're stacked. Uh, Herogasm, good player. Um, but I am excited to play against them and go for the win. We have three ARs, so typically I'm going to be the player pushed up in people's face going for cuts and flanks. Doing a nice 2-2 two -two split right here. Delete. 
Easy two piece. I have control of the middle. They're taking Alpha. Yeah. All right. Just gotta give it up. Second, my teammate shot right there. Um, I should have. You know, I tried to go for a flank and go for a trade. That clearly didn't work. No one's watching the middle cut, thankfully. Don't have an AR though. I'm actually gonna just help my teammate. I'm gonna get his back. Oh no. Right there, when we went too dead, I genuinely thought that guy was going to immediately rush uh, for the capture. I played it a little too fast, clearly. Dude, yeah. Naded myself right there so I couldn't jump in, unfortunately. Go for the P capture. Yeah, sure. I mean, I'm sure he got like, you know, two headshot multipliers right there. Um, and I didn't. Dude, like, I literally hit that guy in his head at least three times, aimed for his head. And the game just didn't give it to me, bro. Damn, I didn't see him. Oh, damn, what a two piece. Oh, one guy couches. There we go, three dead. Done. No, that was a bad challenge by me. That was a freaking, um, what is it called? That was a cell. <laughs> that was a cell and a half. Dude, what? Okay, I'm gonna pull out the AR. Maybe, uh, maybe I just need to take a few gunfights head on and uh, show these guys what's up. All right, they got us in the spawn trap. That's nice. Okay, missed shots again. Shot right over his head. Mr. President Chicken over here. There we go. So we're down my middle. And I didn't hear that guy. That sucks. Dude, 
I thought that guy was going to challenge the guy on time. Oh, there was two of them. That's why. Okay. Ugh. All right. All right. We're playing the same game twice in a row, and we're kind of just getting dominated. Um, I think the issue, though, is we just need more slaying power. So I think I really just need to pull out my AR and get a few kills head on. Because uh, typically the way the game is played is the ARs are always challenging, causing a nuisance, or not causing a nuisance, but they're always, you know, challenging, getting info, getting damage down so the sub players can push up and ideally, you know, get those kills. And that's my fault, of course. Bummer. All right, nice four piece. I'm gonna keep hitting B though. I'm not sure. Probably playing for a kill though. Okay, I'm gonna push up for the spawn trap. We'll just play defense B. I think me literally not giving up this position and not... So, like, I didn't go for that flint. Okay, why am I talking while trying to shoot, bro? I'm about to choke. Dude, I choked so bad. I literally choked so bad. I was like, the reason why I am not choosing to go to A right now is because I don't have dead silence. And it's like, that was just, like, the most cringe thing I've ever done. What a good stun, dude. Damn it. I just need to get on our full flank. Two dead. There we go. All four. Let's go. Damn it, dude. I wanted to try to get to that cut as fast as possible, but I like second guessed. No way. No better way to lose, right? No better way to lose. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Does this tarnish the quality of this live stream now? Because we won three out of five ranked play matches and like we almost won one of them. And now we just got completely obliterated on the last two. So now we only won three out of six. Is <laughs> is the stock going down? Am I, am I gonna have to bail out? Oh man, that sucked, dude. I was genuinely expecting to win, considering we're coming off of a loss right there. And then just, damn, right there. I just, again, make a bunch of bad plays. Terrible, terrible. Ah, oh, dang. Yeah, there's like one play right there where I was like, okay, let me throw a grenade on time, and then I'm gonna jump on time on the right. And the grenade hits the pillar on the, <laughs> hits the pillar. So I'm like, great, I can't get on time now. And then um, we lose the round. 
And then there was another part where I was like, I'm going to give up A. I'm not going to flank this just because they're going to spawn at B. We're going to lose B, and it's going to be just chaos. I'm going to stay here so I can spawn trap and hold the map control. And then I lose my immediate gunfight, bro. That was so bad. <laughs> but I'm uh, I'm happy that I'm at least, you know, able to share it with you guys. Um, because at the end of the day, like... Even though it's solo queue, we always want to think on what can we do better individually to win our games, right? Um, so a very important thing is talking about that VOD review where I made three very bad mistakes that costed us the game. And because that costed us the game, like that's why like we lost, right? I got to work on that. So um, this is just showing that even in solo queue, we can't blame it on teammates. We got to figure out the small things that we got to change and uh, remember to change it in the future. Like I said, next week, hopefully we get on that Albogger Fortress again. It becomes a tight game, and I can show you guys that I fixed my mistakes because uh, that's what it's all about, just getting better. Uh, but again, I'm going to go ahead and end the stream. We ended up winning three out of five games today. Played an extra game. Unfortunately, we lost, but I'm going to go ahead and call it there. I want to give a huge shout out to everyone who stopped by aimless sure shot justo ethan zen jason really appreciate all of you guys for stopping by i'm um, really excited for tomorrow tomorrow we're going to be doing better gamer um, and we'll be reviewing aimless cdl gameplay in diamond ideally trying to help give you tips and tricks just to get better uh, but I'm going to go ahead and end it there. If anyone has any questions, please message the chat right now. I will be here for an extra 5, 10 minutes just to you know message any questions. But other than that, I hope everyone has a great rest of your day. And I will see you next time. Thank you and peace.